So the second race of the weekend very shortly getting underway. It's Steffi Harm leading the order. Down towards the start finish line we go. Green lights are on and Steffi Helm leads the pack towards turn one. Rene Reynard alongside and Andre Kersim trying to keep in touch with the Ibeco driver leading the way. In towards turn one we go. Rene Reynard on the outside. Andre Kersim looking to piece his way in towards second place. They're still side by side in the background. There's a little bit of contact. Ilya Koloch finds herself all over the grass. Steffi Helm desperately trying to build up that gap. Renault Reynard and Andre Kersim side by side for second place. And then we get back to Stefan Faust and the number 14 of Jose Rodriguez both trading places once again. So at this point, Steffi Helm has started to work her way forward. Andre Kersim under pressure from Antonio Albathetti. Renault Reynard find himself in the tyre wall with extensive damage on his Iveco. And then Jochen Hahn befell issues as well, supposedly after the contact with Renault. See the lead gap is once again closing up. Five trucks all battling for first place. And it was Adam Lachko and Jose Rodriguez battling away. But back to the paddock went Rene Reynard into retirement. Then the mid-pack once again is the best place to watch some really close truck racing. Shane Brereton and Stefan Fast nose to tail. Stefan Fast so desperate to make up time. He ran wide. Jamie Anderson came back into it. While all that was going on, the lead was changing. Andre Kersim late on the brakes, up the inside, just edging the gap between himself and Steffi Halm. And that was Andre in the number 11 Iveco into the lead. Steffi Halm but left with yet more attacking to do. By this point, Andre Kersim had allowed himself a little bit more time to the lead. And Steffi Helm coming under ever-increasing pressure from the local Spaniard of Antonio Albacete. Teo Calve also chasing down that lead pack. Once again, it was Shane Brereton and Stefan Fast battling away. But this time, with a mistake from Stefan Fast, costing him a position, Anthony Janiek worked his way by. The lead gap massively opened up Andre Kersim. Well and truly up the road from Steffi Helm. Antonio Albatetti just sat behind with Norbert Keish hot on his heels. Adam Lachko gave it a go around the outside of Sacha Lenz and just about got the move done before they reached the apex at Pagasso. But it was Andre Kersim that took the win here at Harama, followed by Steffi Helm and just about Antonio Albatetti to take third place in the second race of the weekend. Andre Kersim clambering out the cockpit of his Iveco, celebrating with his team over the moon with yet another win this season. So on to the podium they went. Of course, Antonio Arbatetti getting the bigger cheers of them all. Steffi Helm joining them. But it was Andre Kersim that took top honours in the second race of the weekend at Tarama. Let's go down to Christina with an interview with Andre. I know Steffi, is, uh, she, she, can, she can make it very hard for overtaking and I know Adam was behind me, Antonio was behind me and yeah, now you have to go in the front and you have to show in the mirror because the faster guys are behind you. But yes, it was okay. The incredibly committed Spanish ground stayed from early this morning till the very last race of the day and it was well and truly worth it. Andre Kersim took the win, followed by Steffi Helm and then of course the home favourite Antonio Albacete crossing the line in third. Teo Calve, after a poor race one, managed to finish eighth place from starting on the very back row of the grid. Followed by the two Brits, Jamie Anderson and Shane Brereton, ninth and tenth. Then we get back to Anthony Janiek, just squeezing past Stafford Fast in the closing stages of the race. Heinrich Klamenteka, somewhat off the pace in the final race of the weekend.